Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install our Studio server on an Amazon 2 uh, Linux 2MI. So what we're going to go do is, uh, if you haven't used Amazon Web Services, we're going to get EC2 instance. Go to EC2, launch instance, <laughs> Amazon Linux 2MI. Um, for uh, our Studio server, it's kind of big, so we're going to install the T2. Let's do this small. I'm going to configure details. I'm going to enable auto assign public IP. So we need that. Um, what else here? Okay, and then I'm going to go to advanced details, open that up. And this is where I can uh, put any commands I want to install our studio server without having to SSH into it and blah 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 all that stuff so so I'm gonna install R here install our studio server here um, and then I'm gonna user add viral code my username obviously and then um, give it a password uh, so yeah that's pretty much it um, when I do wget on this, I want to make sure that it is the CentOS ser uh, server. So go here. Uh, let me see. Deadload Red Hat CentOS. This is the one we want. So we're gonna get grab these codes. Um, and if you can't find that, just go to rstudio.com. Uh, Download. Look, download our studio server. I can just Google it because it's it's faster than going on their site. <laughs> and then we Red Hat Sen OS, and here we have it. Okay, cool. Next, I'm gonna um, add some storage. Eight gigabytes will be fine. Add some tags. Uh, don't well. We don't need to do that, but we can add a tag if we want to. Let's say, um, R Studio, R Studio, R Server config. Next, we're gonna configure security group. I want to add rule. Um, we're gonna add. We're gonna open a port. What is it? Um. R Studio Server Port eighty seven eighty seven. So we're gonna go in and say uh, we want to open eighty seven eighty seven. Custom TC pool rule is fine. Um, TCP is fine, and yeah, this should be fine. Um, we want to have this access from anywhere, and that's it. We go review, launch, launch. We need to create a pair, pre pair, so I'm going to create one. R Studio server new. Download it. Don't lose that. It'll download wherever your browser downloads, so put it in the downloads folder. So that's fine. Let's, let's just. Uh, launch it there now we're gonna we have launched the instance and that's it good job guys we've launched a new instance and uh, yeah it's now launching um, I'll make another follow-up video on how we can do this more and thanks for watching guys likes comment and subscribe